I didn't think you were gonna be that big. It's a nice one. Come here. You threw my bait. That's a good one. Look at that. Right Ozark rig. Right through the top of the mouth. That's where you always get them. Man, the, the river's been fishing really tough this year. Well, that not this year, but lately, I should say. Um, and I'm finding that downsizing is really helping. So this is the X-Zone Stealth Finesse Series. This is their stealth creature, and it's a new one I'm playing around with. Uh, first time using it, actually. But what I really like about it is it's just a creature style bait. You know, I've talked to you guys about how much I love fishing creatures, creature baits in low water periods uh, later in the summer and the early fall. And that's what we got right now. We've got really not terribly low water, but we've got, you know, slow current. We just don't have uh, the conditions that you'd want. So I figured I'd try play around with some of these tiny little creature style baits and uh, see what I think. You know, I'm throwing it on, this is just the Ozark 2 aught eighth ounce, so it's a really small one. But it seems to work, like, you know, just the little bit I've thrown it here, it really does a good job gliding still. I mean, it, it doesn't overpower the bait at all. And uh, I like how it, there's another one. <laughs> that was a dinker smallmouth. Six incher, just gave him a ride. Um, I really like how it, how they look. You know, this is kind of a new thing. These finesse creature style baits. There's a handful of them out there now. I mean, this one's two and three quarter inches long. Like, you know, it's not even an easy thing to find a hook for. You got to use probably a two aught or a one aught or even smaller. And it's just one of those things that. Uh, fish haven't seen and i love the creature style over you know the the bigger creature style uh sizes and the and the profiles and i don't know why a little one wouldn't work i don't know why it's taken so long but this is just one of the ones i i picked up the other day and so far i've been really liking it i love i love how it looks on the ozark man that looks good Good. That's another nice one. Golly, he thumped that. That's another good one. Yes, sir. These are really nice quality fish right now for the river here. Look where he is again, guys. Boom! Right on the top of the mouth. I can't tell you that's I I don't know 100% why it works that way, but that's what the Ozark rig does. Get some top of the mouth like every time. Take them. Ow. Thought you were a good one. I'm liking the old stealth creature. That's the one. Green pumpkin blue flake. Can't go wrong with that. There are little tabs on it. I like to pull those off completely. I'm not a big fan of tabs. I think a lot of anglers don't realize they need to remove those, but you don't always, I guess, have to remove them. But if you want those tentacles to move, 
you need to remove them. Let's see if there's another one there. Beautiful little little current break on the top of that island. Not that little. <laughs> That's how finicky they've been. Golly. But I'll tell you what, he hit that thing like three or four times. That's a nice one. Which tells me, oh, that's the biggest of the day so far. <laughs> Makes me look like a fool. Top of the mouth. Solid two and a half pounder. Just makes makes me look like a fool because I mean you almost get to the point you don't even want to make another cast at them because it's just they're I missed them three times and it feels like they're just tapping it and I swear them smallmouth a lot of times they're just playing with it they like this stealth creature I got another one I gotta gonna have to add to my arsenal apparently So I am flipping this on uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon and I've got it on a medium heavy 7.3 rod. It's not, uh, you know, you're talking about something that weighs probably 3 16 of an ounce total. So it's not super heavy or easy to flip necessarily. Just something to keep in mind. I could definitely be fishing on spinning gear. I just really like to throw it on bait casting gear. That's what I like to flip with. I feel like I have more control when I'm fishing this heavier stuff. But you could you could fish it on spinning gear if you wanted to fish the Ozark rig uh, with this. But I actually feel like you could fish this in a lot of different ways. You know, you probably uh, work it on a drop shot. You could work it on a little Ned head. You know, it's just a, another finesse presentation that you could do a lot of different things with. But really liking it a little mini creature bait who wouldn't like that smallmouth are liking it I'll tell you that That's a good one too. <laughs> That's the biggest one so far. I don't think I can swing him. Yo. Come here. All right. Look at that one, guys. Top of the mouth. Stealth creature is missing. That's a nice, that is a nice river fish. Beauty. Beauty. Well, I think on that note, I think I'm going to end it. That was a good ending fish. I might keep fishing a little bit. I've got uh, one more left in the pack. But uh, I think, I really do feel like there's a place for these little creature baits. You know, this is the Stealth Creature by X-Zone. I'll put a link for this in the uh, video description if you want to check them out. If you uh, want to check out some Core Tackle Ozark rigs, do that as well. This is the 2 out size that I'm fishing with it. And, uh, man, it's generating some good bites. I wish I was fishing a tournament right now. These are 
really good quality fish on the river right now so anyways thanks for watching guys i appreciate all of your support tune in tomorrow we'll have another new one coming out for you i don't know what it'll be on but something so you better tune in if you want to see it thanks for watching everyone